Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the walk. Today is Monday, July 18th, and today we are talking about our access to Christ, the fact that he wants us to bask in his presence, and the way things were in the Old Testament the, versus the way things are going to be at those end times. So let's pray. Lord, we praise you and thank you for the fact that we can continue to dive in your word, continue to understand you better, and enjoy basking in your presence, just sitting and feeling that peace, being surrounded by your love, knowing that when we spend that time with you and we're praying that mountains are moving, that you, it is all being done through your power and not through ours. Lord, we love you, and all we want to do is glorify you. In Jesus' name, amen. So today we're starting in Ezekiel 44. And in this passage, the gate of the temple is being closed. But yet from a distance, from behind that gate, they can see the glory of the Lord. So listen to what it says. Then the man brought me back to the outer gate of the sanctuary, the one facing east, and it was shut. The Lord said to me, "Is this gate is to remain shut. It must not be opened. No one may enter through it. It is to remain shut because the God, Lord, the God of Israel, has entered through it. The prince himself is the one who may sit inside the gateway to eat in the presence of the Lord. He is to enter by way of the portico of the gateway and go out the same way. So who is this prince? This prince is Jesus. And when we flip over to Revelation chapter 3, verse 7, we're going to see that the door is open and nobody can shut it. That access to having that sitting in God's presence is available to us. It is there for us. Jesus is the door. Jesus is the one that is giving us that access to God. He carries our prayers straight to God. So when we're looking in Revelation 3, verse 7, it says, To the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, These are the words of him who is holy and true, who holds the key of David. What he opens, no one can shut, and what he shuts, no one can open. Now, what this is talking about, it's talking about those end times. But when we look at what Jesus did in the Gospels, he said that all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me, therefore go and make disciples. He has opened that door for us to be able to have that fellowship with him. We have the baptism of the Holy Spirit. We can have that concentrated prayer time sitting in his presence. And that's why that time in that prayer closet is so important. Continuing on in verse 8. I know your deeds. See, I have placed before you an open door that no one can shut. He's saying it again. Come and be in my presence. I know that you have little strength, yet you have kept my word and have not denied my name. And I don't know about you, but there's a lot of times where I feel like that. I feel like I'm running out of strength. I'm running out of steam. But yet I have not. I'm doing everything I can to keep his word and not deny his name. Do I mess up? Absolutely. We all have times where we mess up. But the point is to just shake the dust off your boots. You say, Lord, I'm sorry. You do the best you can not to mess up again. And you keep on moving forward. You remain faithful in your purpose. And your purpose is to glorify Christ. You cannot glorify Christ if you are not spending that time in his presence. You have to have that concentrated, heavy-duty prayer time where you are just basking in his presence. You're getting filled with the Holy Spirit. It's basically like being charged up. Don't go out there and spend your day not charged up. Get yourself charged up. How do you do that? You go in your prayer closet. You, you put on some praise music. You praise the Lord. You read the Bible. You spend that time in prayer. And keep in mind that that prayer time also includes listening time. Listen to what the Holy Spirit is telling you and guiding you to do. Pray about those God goggles and having those God goggles on your face. Let this, you know, Monday is the start of the work week. Let this morning be your reset. Get yourself focused on Christ and ready to serve him as you go out through your day. 
Have a wonderful day. God bless and keep walking the walk.